hello everyone welcome back again with another video in this video we will be going through the folder structure we will be following let's jump into the vs code yeah here you can see in the repository we have different kind of folders here first one is the orderer add orderer so in this folder we will do all the stuffs related to adding new orderer at the runtime but in the current section we are creating our network so we will not be touching this folder right now adding organization this will be the different section this folder will have all these stuffs related to the adding organization at the runtime api 2.0 they uh, so so i have written some basic api like invoking the transaction or querying the transactions uh, using fabric network that is the latest sdk supported by fabric and I have written some of the APIs inside this folder. Uh, next folder is the artifacts folder. In the artifacts folder, we have chain code as well as the channel artifacts. Right now, we did not create any channel artifacts, but we will create soon using these files crypto config.yaml. We will create genesis block, tra channel to transaction block, and the crypto materials for all the participants. So, using config.txt.yaml and the crypto config.yaml file. These are the two important files okay inside the channel and uh, again here we uh, inside the artifacts another we have one folder uh, this folder will have our smart contract it's just a basic smart contract querying and adding in we will we'll walk through this smart contract as well but right now just we'll see the other folder as well the one most important thing is the docker compose file this file will have all the required services for our network so as i already mentioned that our network will have two organizations one peer organization one order organization and inside the peer organizations we will have two organization again and each organization will have two peer it means there will be multiple services so all these are necessary services i have mentioned here like certificate two certificate authorities three orderers these are these are the raft orderers and four cowsdb instances and four peers you can see here four peers these are the different containers will be required for creating our networks so total almost 13 containers would be here and additional addition of this there would be another two containers for the chain codes so they will be created at the runtime when we instantiate the chain code there are some of the scripts which I have already written. Create channel dot script is used to create the channel, join the all the peer, and create uh, update the anchor peers. You can see all the information available inside this. Deploy chain code dot another next script. So in this script, we have mentioned all the necessary stuffs required to install instantiate the chain codes and finally invoking some of the transactions. So there are some uh, certain steps we have to follow. First of all, we have to download all the necessary dependencies for the smart contract. Later on, package the chain code, install the chain code, check if it is properly installed. And as per the life cycle, new life cycle chain code, we will require approvals from the organizations. And later on, we will check, commit the chain code definition. And finally, we can initialize invoke function. And later, the final step would be chain code invocation and the chain code query. These are all the different scripts available here. And last one, this is upgrade chain code .hs. This file is required for updating the chain code. Uh, let's see if we can, how we can update our, upgrade our chain code. And other files are later we will see means what exactly the purpose. And this is the folder structure thoroughly we are going to follow. And all the stuffs necessary related to the adding organization or adding orderer at the runtime they have a special separate folders here you can see and inside that also we have some special files when we talk about the adding organization or adding orderer at the runtime we will deep dive into these folders and we'll see what kind of scripts defined inside this the primary goal of this section is our creating our basic network up and running invoke some transactions and later on we can proceed with the adding organization or maybe adding orderer at the runtime. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.